You are. Hi, this is Mike Aglillo with his two minute tutorials that are actually turning out to be about five minute tutorials. <laughs> um, the image you're looking here, I just want to show you as an example. This is, see this ring right here? Um, I want to show you how you create something like this, but you can't start this complex. I'm going to start by showing you how to make a ring um, in Photoshop without any photography. By the way, this image, there's virtually no uh, camera involved. The hand was made in Poser and the rest of it was made in Photoshop. Here's how you do it. This is the ring I want to make. Now, if I asked you to make a ring like that, could you, uh, could you folks make one? And here's how you do it. Let's turn this off and create a white background. You can make your file any size that you want. This one's five inches by five inches at a resolution of 300. I'm on the background layer. I use my tool, the marquee, uh, rectangular marquee tool, and I just draw a box straight across, just like that. I then turn it into a layer, Command J. Now I need the marching ants back on that layer to finish what I want to do. So since this is the layer right here, um, just so I don't make things confusing, I'm going to get rid of these layers right here so that all we have is what you're doing. I push command, click on the layer, marching ants are there. Take the uh, gradient tool and pick this gradient right here. It's the one called reflected gradient. I'm, I have a white to black background, white to black. I push shift, I put this in the middle of the marching ants, I go straight up, let go, and I have something that looks kind of like a tube. Let's turn off the marching ants there. Next thing I do to make this is as simple as this. I'm on that layer, I click on filter, I slide down to um, distort, and I go across to polar coordinates. I click OK and I just realized I had the marching ants on. Mistake. That's what it looks like is the mistake. Let's go backwards and get this right. See those marching ants? They can't be on. I'm glad we caught that. Command D for deselect. Now I'll go to filter. Once I'm on the layer, go to filter, distort, polar coordinates. It's on rectangular to polar. Click OK. And just like that you have a blue ring. Excuse, excuse me. A ring, if I want to make it blue, like I did the other one, I simply can add color by doing Command U on this layer. And it will take this hue saturation, and I can click Colorize, bump up the saturation, and make it any color I like. There we go. So, that's how you make this ring. Eventually, an image like this can turn into an image like this. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. This is Mike Aguilillo for Student Stock.